everyone, welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. We have more severe weather chances going through this weekend into early next week with a very active weather pattern. And then above normal temperatures, how warm will temperatures soar? We'll answer those questions as well as give you a preview to Mother's Day weekend next weekend. Will the active weather pattern persist? We'll get into those details later on in today's video. But going back to yesterday, it was a fairly active Friday as we had severe weather weather reports up here into Nebraska. We had severe weather reports down into central and north Texas as well as southern Mississippi. We had one tornado reported and that was actually across southwestern Wyoming. We had 49 wind reports, 40 hail reports for a total of 90 severe weather reports across the nation yesterday. And as we go through this weekend, especially into today, we have that active subtropical jet down here across the southern and central United States. And that is going to be feeding into our severe weather chances today. In fact, we have two areas we're highlighting for potential for severe weather. We have a slight risk for severe storms with a marginal risk surrounding that across the Midwest, getting down into the western Ohio Valley, and an enhanced risk of severe weather down into northwest Texas and southern Oklahoma later on today with a slight and marginal risk surrounding that as far north and east as western Arkansas. So we'll get to those details. But if you guys like detailed weather breakdowns on North America, including Southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics, now is the time to subscribe to the channel down below. I update these weather videos each and every day at 9 a.m. every single morning. And also, it's very important to press the like button, the thumbs up button down below the video. It definitely helps out more than you know, so I definitely appreciate it. But going through today, we have that upper level ridge with building heights across the eastern two-thirds of the country. And that continues even into your Sunday. And this is going to be bringing our very warm and above average temperatures across most of the eastern two-thirds of the country this weekend. So looking at your high temperatures this afternoon, we're into the 90s across much of the central and southern plains, middle 90s in fact, down into northwest Texas, and we're even into the 70s up here in toward the Midwest. But as we go into tonight, temperatures won't be cooling off too much. We're into the middle and upper 60s with some areas down into coastal Texas around the Houston area actually only getting down into the middle 70s for overnight lows tonight. And then we're right back up into the the 90s across the central and southern plains on your Sunday with those 90 degree temperatures actually surging farther north and east into Missouri, including the St. Louis area, western Illinois, middle 80s as far north as southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois here in eastern Iowa. So definitely a well above average temperature regime that we are in through this weekend. And it is going to be feeling our severe weather chances. So going down here across the southern plains, highlighting this area first, we do have have an enhanced risk of severe storms. That's a level three of five on the scale, and that does cover the Ardmore, Oklahoma area, near the Fort Sill, Lawton, Oklahoma area, down into Wichita Falls, just west of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and down toward Abilene, Texas as we go through your Saturday and look at the instability reservoir down in this region. This is strong and extreme instability of 3,000 to 4,000 joules per kilogram. So plenty of energy for these storms. And look at the hail risk as we go through this afternoon and evening. We have a 15 to 30% hatched risk for hail. And anywhere in this hatched risk, you could be talking about hailstones of two inches or larger in diameter across some Southern Oklahoma into portions of Northwest and Central Texas from San Angelo through the Abilene area, getting up into Fort Worth, Wichita Falls, and even as far North as the Norman Oklahoma area as well. So definitely move your cars indoors because it will be a lot of hail with these storms later on. And we have a 2% shading for tornadoes. So a couple of these storms could rotate as we go through this afternoon and this evening. So timing it out for you, the noon time frame fairly quiet across much of the southern plains. We got a couple storms down here into Louisiana. These storms will have to be watched for some rotation with a slight tornado chance down there, down there toward the New Orleans region. But as we go through this evening, look at these supercells exploding across northwest Texas. These will be the big hailers just west of the Dallas-Fort Worth area toward Abilene. Definitely move your cars indoors this afternoon before these storms do erupt. And as we go through the overnight hours, toward the midnight time frame, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. 
will have a small mesoscale convective system or MCS start to develop more of damaging wind and hail potential as it crosses eastward into the I-35 corridor in Dallas-Fort Worth itself on up into southeastern Oklahoma after midnight and toward your Sunday morning. So definitely a noisy go of it this evening and toward the overnight hours across the southern plains and it will be producing some heavy rainfall. So make no mistake about it. If you get under one of these storms, they definitely could be producing one, two, if not three three inches of rainfall in a very short amount of time, especially in the northern parts of Texas here going through your Sunday morning. And then to the north, we got another chance for severe storms on the northern side of this system. We have a marginal risk in the dark green from Rapid City to Sioux Falls, getting over to La Crosse, Milwaukee, Chicago, and even down here into the Paducah and Indianapolis region. But in this yellow shade of color into western Illinois, southeastern Iowa, and northeast Missouri, that's where we have a level two of five, a slight risk for severe storms, a little bit more of heightened severe weather potential. And it's on the northernmost axis of this instability is where we'll be watching for that severe weather to break out today across portions of the Midwest, including the threat for tornadoes. So if you live in Quincy, Illinois, over here toward the Springfield, Illinois region, St. Louis getting down toward the Carbondale area in Southern Illinois, do be watching out for the potential of a couple of isolated tornadoes tornadoes through this afternoon, this evening into the overnight hours, and this could be after dark. So definitely pay attention to this, but going through the noon time frame, I can't rule out a couple of isolated or widely scattered thunderstorms. One or two of these could be producing some hail or some gusty winds, but my main concern is this mesoscale convective system developing upstream across the twin cities here down toward Rochester, Minnesota and to Northern Iowa. This is early on this evening at 7 PM. This will be racing south and eastward across southwestern southern Wisconsin into portions of Iowa, northwestern Illinois about the midnight time frame 1 a.m. This will probably be bringing more damaging winds and large hail than tornadoes as it looks more linear. And then as we go into the morning hours, 7 a.m. on Sunday, this will begin to move quickly into through the Ohio Valley, turning into more of a heavy rain and gusty wind threat as we go through the portions there of Indianapolis into western portions of Ohio into Kentucky with these storms. Well, with these storms on the western side of this Sunday morning do need to be watched down toward the St. Louis area with more of the discrete supercells developing even on your Sunday morning. And if you get under one of these storms or this convective system as it pushes through through your Sunday morning, definitely could be seeing a couple of inches of rain in a very short amount of time so watch out for ponding of water on the roadways or in low-lying areas across the midwest and then as we go in toward your sunday time frame we have another threat for severe storms including a significant hail risk across the omaha region getting down there toward kansas city so that will be something to watch with even a marginal risk for hail extending down into portions of eastern kansas central oklahoma to north Texas and over here toward the Chicagoland area and Indianapolis and a tornado risk on Sunday across the Midwest into Iowa here, the Des Moines area, Omaha, getting down into Kansas City and the Topeka region as well into eastern Kansas. So definitely be on high alert on Sunday and look at the instability reservoir once again. We're going to see strong to extreme values of instability of around 2,000 to as much as 4,000 joules per kilogram of energy for these storms in which to erupt on Sunday. So walking you through Sunday, 7 a.m. in the morning, we got that mesoscale convective system with a cluster of heavy rain and some gusty winds here through portions of Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. And then as we go through the day on Sunday, that will lose its luster as it pushes farther south and east into the Mid-Atlantic and the Tennessee Valley. But then our attention will turn Sunday afternoon back up here across the Northern Plains and Upper Midwest as we have supercells developing more of scattered activity through Sunday evening. But any one of these storms could rotate, could produce some very large hail and also some damaging winds over 60 miles per hour. And then we'll watch a couple of mesoscale convective systems develop. One of them could develop here into central Illinois, dropping southward toward the Tennessee Valley. And a stronger convective system will probably develop across the Midwest toward western Iowa and move toward northwest Illinois overnight on Sunday into your Monday morning time frame. You do notice it is 1 a.m. in the morning on Monday. These storms 
storms will be moving through your area. So definitely a noisy go of it. And then, oh yeah, again, on Monday, more severe storms across portions of the Great Plains getting into the Missouri Valley with a slight risk across central Missouri, southern Illinois, into southwestern Indiana as we go into Monday. So going over the next few days, going from now through Tuesday on May 9th, we do see some heavy rain across the Midwest into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys with the most concentrated heavy rain from northern Illinois through central Indiana down here into Kentucky and Tennessee. Those areas could be seeing up to two, if not three inches worth of rain and localized higher amounts possible if you see multiple rounds of storms. But we also will be seeing some heavy rain as well across the southern plains and the deep south where a couple areas could be receiving a one to three inches of rain, especially near New Orleans and then back toward the Dallas-Fort Worth area as well. But then going through the middle of next week that upper level ridge is going nowhere we see building heights continuing across the eastern two-thirds of the country a trough digging down across the pacific southwest that will be bringing more unsettled weather to the four corners region by wednesday and as we go through late next week another system crossing into the middle of the country will promise more unsettled weather across the great plains probably more severe weather as we heat up into late next week on friday and then into sunday on mother's day on May 14th, we have that upper level ridge really taking over all of Canada here and the lower 48 across the United States as well. So definitely a very warm Mother's Day is anticipated. And just previewing this, on Saturday, May 13th, starting your Mother's Day weekend, temperatures will be in the 80s across the Midwest. 90s can be expected across the Southeast, especially into the Carolinas and down into Florida. And as we go into Mother's Day itself on Sunday, you can expect mid-90s possibly across the Carolinas, getting into Georgia there, Alabama, and Florida with 80s all the way up into the Ohio Valley and the Midwest as well. But during that Mother's Day weekend, even though we have the warm weather, it comes at a cost for more showers and storms in multiple rounds. So your Mother's Day weekend looks fairly unsettled across eastern New Mexico through much of the state of Texas down here in the Rio Grande Valley and also up here across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. But in between, there will be lots of dry time as well across the Missouri Valley and the Central Plains. And kind of highlighting a couple areas, Mother's Day weekend, you can expect the heaviest rain. It looks like Minnesota getting into northern Wisconsin and northern lower Michigan. Michigan here and then kind of moving farther to the east into southeastern Canada you could see a couple rounds of storms that could lead to a few inches of rain there and then very heavy and unsettled weather down here across eastern New Mexico getting into central and west Texas where we desperately need the rainfall with the ongoing drought it looks like we're going to get a nice drenching rain with one to three inches with localized higher amounts possible during that Mother's Day weekend time frame so unfortunately it has to come during the Mother's Day weekend itself, but it is much needed rain in toward next week, especially when you look at the drought monitor here that was just released on Thursday, May 4th, and you do see we have extreme and exceptional drought building into West Texas, the Oklahoma Panhandle, and in Western Kansas. So hopefully we can get some decent rains down here over the next five to seven days. But nonetheless, getting beyond Mother's Day weekend through the third week in May, this goes through Friday, May 19th. We have that ridge building across the west and the northern United States with a trough underneath that with more unsettled weather across the Four Corners region down here into Texas Hill Country and the southeastern United States. But we will be drying out at least a little bit across the Pacific Northwest, the northern plains, and the upper Midwest getting towards that Friday, May 19th time frame. But we are concerned about more severe weather. So during that transition toward the third week in May, we have more unsettled times. Dew points will be rising back into the 60s and 70s across the Great Plains and the Missouri Valley. That continues through that Friday, May 19th time frame with those dew points really spiking once again into the 70s. And this is the area I am concerned about with my severe weather forecast from May 13th through the 19th time frame as we go through the third week in May. It's possible we get severe weather anywhere highlighted in this yellow color across the central and southern plains into the Missouri Valley and the Arklatex region as well. So we'll continue to monitor that as we get closer to that time frame. Well, if you want to follow me on Twitter for additional weather forecast updates, make sure to hit the description down below and follow me at hweather420. I definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you for watching this morning.
And make sure to like the video down below, give it a thumbs up, leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video.